So if we're going to do a born-again relationship, we got to go all the way back to the beginning, and we have to look at the beginning version of trust. Think about your daughters who are off at college or in high school. How much can they trust a boy on a first date? We have to trust enough to go on the date. Now, when I'm working with adult women, who are especially between marriages, the not-LDS culture has a really cool thing that we don't have much of called going for coffee. So let's translate that into our culture. What is the value of why you want your daughter to go for coffee before she goes on a date. We show up in separate cars. It's expected to happen no longer than 30 minutes. Everyone understands that this is a very short public place, safe place. The goal is can we even achieve verbal intimacy? That's the goal of going for coffee. So if your husband asks you to prom before he asks you to go out for coffee, I invite you to suggest something a little smaller. You know what? I'm not quite ready to go to prom, but I could go for a 30 minute ice cream cone. Don't even go to dinner. We're not going to dinner. Go to McDonald's for a 99 cent ice cream cone. Offer an alternative that you are ready for. Let's just walk the dog together. The purpose of season one, the courtship, is to see if trust can be built. So remember the watermark zipper behind the intimacy pyramid is we are not connected during the first three layers. So you ladies, you're going to feel a sensation of not feeling connected because it isn't safe to be connected yet. So let these first dates end without the feeling of connection. That's really hard. When you crave it so deeply and you want it so bad and it's so strong inside of you, you have to let the first three layers end without feeling connected.